Hey guys, so let's say that you signed up for one of these courses of Anthony. Let's say you signed up for the premium course. It's the year-long long coaching program that Anthony was selling from $35,000 to $50,000. So you're expecting hands-on experience and training with Anthony. Uh, Ten people, according to Anthony, signed up for this course paying upwards of half a million dollars, right, for Anthony to teach them. Now, why are we looking at a picture of this other guy, Fernando? Well, it turns out Anthony's grand plan in teaching was, even though he's the coach, was to have Fernando. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about this. I'm trying to think of a comparison, but it's the same type of scam that a lot of these coaching programs do when in fact grant cardone did this exact scenario to anthony there is a picture with anthony and it's not with grant cardone so anthony paid half a million dollars to go to a grant cardone event and he just took pictures with grant cardone's lieutenants or the fernandos and Grant Cardone himself does not attend these events, even though Anthony paid half a million dollars because he's got other stuff to do. And he doesn't want the blame should the coaching go wrong. So he has these other students teach people like Anthony. And that is one of the tricks that Anthony has picked up. So 10 students sign up for this one year course, right? They pay tuition that was even more than Harvard. Harvard tuition is less than $50,000 a year. But regardless, these people signed up and they're expecting Anthony to work with them. They're expecting Anthony to help them over a year period. We know that would not lo no longer be true. One of these students goes to Anthony, meets him in person. His name is Fernando. And he has some questions as to very, very basic questions, guys. Uh, Fernando is not asking very high level questions. He's asking uh, questions that he could Google and find out the answer to. And Anthony is then saying, you know what, Fernando, you seem like a bright guy. We're going to make you my number two. You're going to be my right hand man. He mentions Jimmy. He mentions Marco. At that time, he was still in Dallas. And uh, Fernando, a brand new student with no experience in what's dealing in sales and anything watch related is now going to be the number two guy and teaching the other nine students. Yes, you heard me correctly. Uh, a guy who just paid $35,000 to $50,000 for Anthony to teach him and Fernando rightfully mentioned multiple times, hey, am I still a student? Am I still a student? Am I still a student? So Fernando essentially paid a year salary to work for Anthony for free, basically scamming the other nine students as part of the program. This tactic has been used by people like Graham Stefan, uh, not Graham Stefan, uh, um, man, there's so many Grahams, right? Uh, okay, what, Dan Locke? Uh, there's Fernando asking if he's a student over and over again because he's so, like, he's so, um, confused right now i mean imagine you're a student and you're going to the teacher and you have a question and then you end up being the teacher now <laughs> and you're like wait what's going on imagine you pay to go to college and you ask you and you have a really interesting question to ask the professor and then in asking the professor the professor you know what you are a really smart guy fernando i don't need to teach anymore why don't you teach the other nine students in your class and, and then you would be absolutely baffled what is going on right now, right? That is Fernando. I mean, Fernando seems like a nice enough guy, but there is just kind of panic is setting in because he realizes, whoa, Anthony doesn't have anything to teach. You know, if, if, I'm, if I, with the little knowledge I have, is now the teacher, then how much has Anthony taught me? Right, why are wearing uh, a uh, is that a gold AP worth probably two hundred two hundred and fifty thousand dollars at the time? I don't know, man. This is wild. This is beyond. Um, you know, people always ask, "How can I make more content?" 
there's enough content here to last me the rest of the year for sure. Uh, now I'm hoping Anthony makes a comeback December 1st to have some new content. But trust me, there, there's enough content here to really evaluate and psychology. I mean, it's just... It's wild, man. This dude's a student. He knows very... I mean, he's been very open about how little he knows. And Anthony is like, wow, you know, you're amazing. You know so much. Why don't you be the coach? And I, you know, and I'll just kind of walk away from this venture. <laughs> I would love to... I think Fernando must be in Dallas. I'd love to interview Fernando. <laughs> it's got to be crazy. Um, now... Logically, the reason that you put a middleman, you know, I watched this other channel called Social Catfish, and these scams, especially from Asia, they always put like a fake uncle, and not from Asia, they're always Asian women, but the guy, the scammers, always in like La Laos, Nigeria. Um, the scam is like actually kind of simple: is hey, you want to date me, and that's cool, and and you probably need a little bit mo more money. I have an expensive lifestyle and stuff. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then the woman says, hey, I have an uncle, and he can change your $1,000 into 100000 and then you can buy me a plane ticket and so on. So it's kind of like a romance and a business scam. And it's always an uncle. The uncle is the scammer. So there is no two people, right? It's, it's a catfish and a scammer. So the, it's, the, the catfish is the same as the uncle. It's the same person operating both accounts. Um, and then whenever um, the person puts in money to the uncle's thing, um, the cat, the catfish, the catfish, er, the catfishing party says, "Oh, he needs more money. He needs more money to take out your money. Oh, he's angry. You didn't put in more. This is a great opportunity." And then the person, the person being scammed, thinks that it's the uncle's fault, and thinks that the um, the catfisher is actually a victim of the uncle. So then they want to help the catfish or get out of that situation. It's this very interesting psychology thing that if you put a Fernando in the middle, like a Graham, like a um, Dan Locke. Dan Locke is known to hire people. So it's interesting that so many of these um, scammers, they hired the people they scammed as part of their business model. And they give them jobs to scam more people. To so the people like... It's like Dan Locks and, and Coffee Dilla does a really good episode in this. The people, in, so Dan Lock does real estate. The people with very little real estate experience are now made lieutenants and they teach these other newer students, even though they have never made a sale before, how to make a sale. So no knowledge is being passed down of any significance because the, the new coach is the former student and the former student was not taught anything. And has never actually made a sale. So you talk about like down the line. No one. You could go down five generations down the line. Of these students and coaches. And no one's ever made a sale. Besides becoming an employee of this company. You know. And this is exactly Anthony's method. And I want to expose it to you. Because many scammers. Ty Lopez. Dan Locke. Graham. They all use this method where you put somebody in the middle a uh, fernando uh fernando is the one with pictures there's a picture of anthony and two fernandos there's not a picture of him and graham um and this is our graham cardone graham cardone yeah that's his name and this is very very interesting because you paid half according to anthony you paid half a million dollars to meet grant grant cardone yeah it's grant cardone I'm thinking of Graham Stefan and FTX, you know, easy to get these finance scammers confused, right? Um, man, it, it's just wild, you know, it's wild. I mean, he literally has a picture of him and two Fernandos at the Graham, Grant Cardone event. And then he himself has made his own Fernando here. The, he, the Fernando clearly has no idea. About the watch industry, um, from from his uh, conversation with Anthony, there's nothing that he says that indicates he's ready to be a coach, or that he's got he's received any training at all from Anthony. But you know when Anthony doesn't respond, when when these people are used 
to talking to, I mean, they're, they're, who are they going to text? Anthony's not going to respond to them. They're going to text this um, Fernando guy. And Fernando's going to have to like try to figure out how to answer these questions. And when shit hits the fan, guess who's going to get the blame? Fernando. Fernando's going to get blamed. Because he's the one who, get, who was texting back these people. And Anthony, oh, you shouldn't have texted him that. You shouldn't have done that. He's going to throw Fernando under the bus. And drive it past them. This is very, very bad behavior. Um, these people are paying upwards, according to Anthony, of fifty thousand dollars to talk to Anthony, not to talk to Fernando, the student. Who's a? I, I, can you imagine if this is the way, like education worked, where every every student is now a coach? No experience, no sale. No, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will put up the picture with him and two Fernandos at the Grant Cardone event. Um, obviously, this is something that he loves doing is coaching. But you got to at least, you got to give it like, it's just embarrassing, my friends. It is, I've never seen it. I, I mean, I've seen stuff like it. Dan Locke does this a lot uh, in real estate, right? where they basically the, their top student now becomes an employee. The top student has never done a real estate business, a real real estate business in their life. Now he's going to train the other students how to do real real estate. It doesn't make any sense. But that's just laziness, right? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye, guys.